show everyone on the internet your place of living? Oh no, I haven't even cleaned though. Oh, I'm sure it's fine. <laughs> I'm just kidding guys. Caitlin and I are actually collaborating together today to film a apartment slash condo tour. And then also we did a super cute DIY hexagon shelf uh, project over on Caitlin's channel, Caitlin's Corner. We'll link her down below. Hi everyone. <laughs> Caitlin's my cousin. A lot of people watch us both and don't even know that. We are first cousins, so very close. And we thought it'd be fun to kind of collaborate together and do like a DIY on her channel and then show how it looks like actually in a space. And I've been wanting to show you guys my space for a long time, so. It's about time, Nicola. I know. The world know. deserves to see this beautifulness. I'm quite the decorator, so. <laughs> Uh, and if you guys haven't checked out Caitlin's uh, channel, Caitlin's Corner, she actually has two really cute uh, like dorm room and apartment tours on there, which are which basically inspired me to show you guys my place. So. Oh, that's so sweet. Thanks, so, Nicola. Thanks for helping me share my space with my online friends. Um, so let's get started. So the first room you walk into is of course our entrance, which we kept it really basic and simple because it ain't that big. I have my little Buddha. A little bowl here where I usually put my keys, chapstick, anything I need on the run, along with my wallet. And this is a shoe rack I saw at Ikea and we actually ended up getting off Kijiji. It's really great because it hides all of your dirty shoes. And this is a fun framed quote that I picked up from HomeSense. Now to the left of our entrance is our den slash my workspace. I got these really cute chairs from Canadian Tire. I have a stick on weekly planner I got from Wall Pops. And then on my desk, I just have some organizational stuff. I have these two pieces I got from 31. I have a zipper envelope I keep my tax receipts in, and then just a caddy I keep any loose papers in. I have our Mac desktop, which I need to use more often. And then above, we have these shelves from Ikea. If you actually look in the clearance section, you can sometimes find them for super cheap. On top of it, I have my YouTube plaque and just some other little trinkets that make me happy and feel health nutty. I have some books and journals that I have extras of, some motivational quotes and affirmations. I have my vision board, which I look at every day, but I also need to update. A bookshelf we got from Matt's mom with like our printer and on top I just have a bunch of books that I love, lots of cookbooks as you can see. Now for this feature wall, this is actually from Wall Pops. This is their ship lap print and I am obsessed with it. I will link a code down below for 30% off. It's amazing and it peels right off. The next room is our bathroom, which I like because it's actually quite big for a bathroom. On top of the sink, I just have you know our toothbrushes, candles, some pan wash a little flower vase thing I got from Michaels. And then I got this rug actually from Walmart. And I love turquoise, you'll see a lot of turquoise in this video. This basket I got from Target, which I just roll up and store our towels in. The towels are from Walmart. This shower curtain I got from Bed Bath & Beyond. These hand towels I got from HomeSense. I loved the colors and the print and had to have them. The next room is our kitchen, which I use quite a lot and I film all of our videos in. This island is from Ikea, but I got it for a discounted price off Kijiji. These cute bar stools in this limey yellow color are also from Ikea and they happen to be 50% off because they were floor models. I always have lots of fresh fruit on hand. In this bowl I actually got from HomeSense as well. It's turquoise and made in Portugal. We have lots of appliances on the countertop. I won't talk about them all, but I will link most of them down below. I have this really nice essential oil infuser from Sage. And then I have lots of cutting boards that I've gotten from Chapters, HomeSense, Costco. The kitchen opens right up into the living room, which is probably my favorite room besides the kitchen. First up, we have the feature wall, which are these cute DIY hexagon shelves that Caitlin and I made for this collab. If you guys wanna find out how to make them, I will link the video down below and here on the screen. I love how these turned out and I wanted to decorate them and show you how they work in a space. All of the little trinkets that are on these shelves are from HomeSense. We got this really cute wooden chest coffee table from Matt's mom, it's a hand-me-down. Then on top we have this tray from Target. 
I love this custom succulent garden that I made at a local Toronto plant store called Stamen and Pistils Botanicals. They're located right on Dundas West and I am obsessed with everything in their store. This rug I got from Urban Outfitters. I love the pattern. The couch is from Costco and these pillows are from Ikea. This blanket is actually one that Matt's mom made. I think it's called an Afghan blanket. I love it. It's so cozy and warm. Coffee table is also a hand-me-down from Matt's mom. And then of course we have our boring TV. In the corner we have a fig plant. His name is Fitzgerald and he is also from Stamen and Pistols Botanicals. He's beautiful, he's loving the space and he's just growing by the day. Floor lamp is from Ikea. And this large floral artwork is from HomeSense. I bought it with my friend Ashley and I am obsessed with it. In the other corner, we have Fred. He's a lime leaf plant, I believe. He is sitting in this gorgeous turquoise pot. Both of these are from Stamen and Pistols Botanicals. Obsessed. This bookshelf is from Ikea, but it is a hand-me-down from my friend Davida from The Healthy Maven. She gave this to me when she was moving to the States. On it, I have a bunch of different pieces from my salt lamp, essential oils, some photographs of me and Matt, some inspirational cookbooks, and just some other things that make me happy. And at the bottom, we have kind of a DIY bar. <laughs> to the right, we have our bedroom, which gets a ton of light, which I really like because there's no ceiling light. We got this comforter from Matt's mom. I will try to find out where she got it from. I've seen similar ones on Wayfair. The whole bed frame is by Ashley and I actually bought this off of my friend Roseman for a quarter of the price when she was moving. Apparently I like to take advantage of my friends when they're moving. The pillows are all from HomeSense. Next we have this beautiful vintage dresser from the 1970s which was the hand-me-down from Matt's stepdad. My stepdad ended up refinishing this on top, we have this DIY jewelry hanger slash coat rack that my friend Angela created for me. I had these decorative knobs for so long and she wanted to put them to good use. And I love to just hang my chunky necklaces on here. On top of the dresser, I just have some other trinkets. This vase I got from HomeSense. In our bedroom, we have another feature wall. This one is also from Wall Pops, obsessed, especially when you're renting and you can't paint or change the walls very much. Using these peel off wallpaper options are amazing and will really change up your space. Then we have a lamp in our room because it does get quite dark at night and if I like to read, I usually put it on. This one is from Ikea. Another thing I really like about our bedroom is that we have a walk-in closet, which is great to kind of hide and store away all of the clothes and any extra towels or things like that. Here you go. All right, so I'm gonna take the camera now. And thank you so much, Caitlin. Of course. Oh, here. Oh. Of course, it this is This is heavy. I can't believe you've been carrying this the whole time. I don't have to go to the gym today because that was an arm workout. You got your workout in. I don't know how Casey Neistat does it. I don't know, <laughs> I don't know. This is, I, I don't even know. Because he also has like the, the mic on top. Oh yeah. That's heavy. It's a setup. So I hope you guys enjoyed the condo tour. Let me know if you like these kinds of videos. And thank you so much to Caitlin for filming it and help me, helping me out. I just really like how the spaces like kind of come together. And there's definitely things that like I are still on my to-do list, but I just wanted to get this video out for you guys. And I like how cute are those hexagon DIY shelves. So cute! So cute. Go over to Caitlin's channel. You'll see how we made them and put them together. And if you guys recreate them, like send us photos. Oh yeah, us. please do. Because like I styled them one way, but like I would love to see how you guys style them. If you what you put on them, you can paint them. You can do so many different options oh, with yeah. them. And they just turned out so cute, guys. All right, so thank you so much for watching. Go send. Caitlin's channel, Caitlin's Corner, some love. I'll have her video linked down below. If you guys want to see more videos from us, be sure to let us know in the comments down below and we'll do some more cousin videos. Maybe like we, a Q&A no, or... We really do. Yeah, we, we made these. It's on our to-do list this year. Yeah. It's to film more together. Do so. them. Um, but that's gonna be it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe, hit that thumbs up button. And the notification bell. bell. The bell, all the things. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, everyone. Bye.